Hi, my name is Pat Knoll, and this is a short video on hover dialogs, or alternately it can be called record hovers or rec hovers. This all started the day in Maximo 7.6, and here's an example on the workload tracking list screen. If I hover over the I on the asset information for the work order, you see a flyout appears with some additional information on the assets. And you can also see this if you go into a work order, and you will see more information in just a second. And on the work order, down at the bottom here, under the information, there's a reported by field. And if we click on the I here, in this case, instead of giving asset information, it gives related person information, person details the person, uh, their name, the phone number, email, etc. So when it was first started, record hovers was for four main sections, for four main types, assets, items, persons, and work order information. And this to get this on a record hover on a field is pretty easy if it doesn't already have it. In Maximo ships with seven, six versions with a number of them already set up, but let's take a look at one that does not have it initially. So if we go to the labor application, and let's pull up a labor record. And under here, there's a supervisor field, which is linked to the person record, but there is currently no record hover to show additional details. So in order to do that, what we would do is go to System Configuration, Platform Configuration, and then Application Designer. And let's pull up the Labor Application. And in Labor Application, we'll go to the Labor tab. And we will click on the Supervisor field, and then go to the control properties for that control. And now if we go to the advanced tab, you'll see here there is a hover window ID property. And in this case, because it's related to the person, if we type in here person underscore record hover, close that out and save this. So now if we go back to the labor application and we pull up Calcot again and then now under supervisor you will see the record hover, the little white eye and it brings you more details. And where this is all set up is in your application designer under the advanced properties. But there's more to it than that. You are able to modify what exactly shows up. You can either add or delete fields to it, or you can even add new record hovers. So to do that, under select action, export system XML and application designer, there is a rec hovers system XML and in here for example for the assets this is the one for asset record hover this section from here down to below here this lists the fields that show up on the record hover so there's a record hover for assets defined here and there's one for change and a number of other fields including uh, weather and task and there's also one for person so what you can do look at the one for person actually item person here we are the person record hover is that here's the, the attributes of display your person ID your display name phone email etc so if you want you can remove lines from here or you can add it and then what you have to do is you have to manually export this recovers XML, modify it in a text editor, 
and then import it back, and then your changes will show in the recover. Alternatively, if you want to add a totally new one, you can add an entire new section to add a recover, and just have to realize that this ID name is what you'd have to put in the field once you've created it. Thanks very much for watching. Hopefully this is helpful. Bye now.